Hello everybody, I'm here with an example of um, describing velocity and acceleration in uh, rectangular coordinate system or in general in Cartesian coordinate system. So here we have this uh, particle that is traveling along a curved path here. So this is our particle traveling along a path whose uh, profile is defined by this parabola y equal 0.5x squared. So we are, we are given uh, that velocity at uh, the x component of velocity is equal to uh, 5t. Okay, so that's the x component of velocity, so it's changing with time. What we want to determine is the magnitude of acceleration, okay, at t equal 1 second. But we also know that at t equal 0, the particle is at the origin basically, x0 and y0. So basically the particle is right here at t equals zero. And we want to find out what is its acceleration, total acceleration or magnitude of acceleration at t equal one. So basically you guys remember that if we define the uh, position vector r, right, which keeps track of the position of this particle, r is defined as xi plus yj right in the two-dimensional in the rectangular coordinate system then velocity is the rate of change of r right and that becomes x dot i plus y dot j right and therefore velocity uh basically this is the x component of velocity and this is the y component of velocity and if you take the derivative one more time uh of the velocity, uh, you get x double dot i plus y double dot j, right? And basically, this is the x component of acceleration, and this is the y component. So if we could find the x component and y component of acceleration, then we are all set. All we have to do is to, to, uh, to find the magnitude of acceleration. So finding the x component of velocity is, uh, acceleration is very easy because ax basically is the derivative of the x component of velocity. You see that? This is the vx. If you take the derivative of that, which is x double dot in a way, you get the, um, the x component of acceleration. So what's the derivative of 5t? It's 5. It's no longer a function of uh, time. So at any time, actually, it's a constant, and the, uh, the unit should be uh, feet per second squared. The problem is that we don't know what ay is. So we got ax. What is ay? Well, the way we're going to find ay actually is actually if we go ahead and find x first. In other words, you see how if you happen to know vx, what is x? x is the integral of vx. So if you go ahead and integrate 5t with respect to time, what are you going to get? You're going to get 2.5t 2, 2 squared plus a constant of integration. But this constant basically is zero because at t equals zero, right? Position is zero, therefore c is zero. Therefore x is equal to 2.5t squared. So once you have x, then you're pretty much done because uh, x is related to y based on this equation. Sorry, I keep moving this. Uh, so, here we go. So y is equal to uh, 0.5 x squared, but what is x? 2.5 t squared is squared. So be careful. When you clean this up, you should get, I believe 3.125 t to the power four. So now go ahead and take the derivative once, and that would be your uh, vy. Vy is y dot, right? This is vy. So that becomes what? That becomes 12.5, I believe, t cubed. And then ay is what? y double dot, or the derivative of, first derivative of vy. So that becomes 37 and a half t squared. Then plug in t equal one, when t is one, you just end up getting 37.5 feet per second squared. So now you have the x component of acceleration and y component of acceleration. Here's the x component, here's the y component. 
you have the total acceleration square root of ax squared plus ay squared, which is simply uh, 5 squared plus 37.5 squared, which actually comes out to be very close to the 37 because the other component is very small, 37.83 unit feet per second squared. So basically at this instant, if, if you say this is t equal 1, for example, right, uh, you have an x component of acceleration, which is very small, 5. Your y component is, is more like more than seven and a half, seven times. So the y component is much larger. And then your acceleration will look like this. So the magnitude of acceleration is like that. So this is the 5, and this is the uh, 37 and a half. Okay, and this is the 37.83. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and listening. If you like these videos, just subscribe, please, and uh, we'll have more examples coming up. Again, thank you very much. Have a good day.